Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14 says, Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction, and there are many who go through it. How narrow is the gate and difficult the road that leads to life, and few find it. Jesus identified there are two possible paths to walk on in this life. First, there is the narrow path through the narrow gate that is difficult to walk on in the sense of needing to exercise self-discipline. Second, there is the wide path through the wide gate that is easy to walk on in the sense of not needing to exercise self-discipline. Jesus said that few walk on the narrow path, while many walk on the wide path. However, in considering where the two paths lead, Jesus clearly indicates that only the narrow path leads to life that is, eternal life in heaven, while the wide path leads to destruction, that is, eternal destruction in hell. Everyone makes choices regarding these paths during their lives in every decision that is made. However, it's easy for the decision to be made based on the condition of each road rather than the destination of each road. For example, many decisions are made solely based on what people desire, and they refuse to do the difficult things that will please God. Furthermore, many will also base their decisions on what other people are doing around them, that is, the way of the majority, for example, rather than what God says is right. However, rather than choosing the wide path based on how the road appears or how many are walking on it, the end result of the choice must be considered by recognizing that sin leads to eternity in hell. Today's response to hearing God's word is this. Choose to walk on the narrow path. When you set this decision firmly in your mind, every other decision will be made considering whether the thing pleases God or not. Four, your focus will not be on how easy or difficult the thing is to do physically or emotionally. Instead, the decisions will all be focused on whether they please God and lead to eternal life in heaven. Then, you will be willing to do whatever pleases God, even when there are few others who choose to do the same.